That was a nightmare scenario from the movie Deep Impact, when a massive meteor smashes into the planet Earth. Obviously, an apocalyptic event such as that is extraordinarily rare, but is it impossible? Remember in 2013, when a small meteor tore over the skies of Russia, smashing windows and injuring hundreds? Or was it Vladimir Putin launching a missile? All of that brings us to this week. There are reports that a mile-wide asteroid is going to pass very close to Earth in just two days. But should we be scared? What should we be doing to prepare? Let's talk to Dr. Michio Kaku. He is a world-famous physicist and an author, and you are here in person. And I'm very delighted to meet you, sir. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. So let's talk about this giant asteroid. How big is it in terms of the other flying rocks that pass by Earth? Well, you know, the dinosaurs did not have a space program. That's why they're not here today. Yeah, that's right. And an object six miles across knocked out the dinosaurs. This object is one mile across. It is a whopper. It is what is called a nation buster. Ooh. It'll knock out, knock out just London or New York. It'll knock out North America. It'll knock out Europe or Asia. Uh, a tr tremendous tsunami will engulf perhaps most of the, the northeast of the United States. Sure. A billion and a half people could perish. So that's the bad news. The bad news is that this could really ruin your day. <laughs> it, it certainly could. Right. In all of your days. It could be the end of days. Right. The good news is we've been tracking it. And we know that it's going to come within 6 million miles of the Earth. Take the distance from the Earth to the moon and multiply by 25. Okay. okay. So that's how far it's going to swing around the planet Earth. But the lesson here is this caught us off guard. Only recently have we noticed that there's all these rocks flying in outer space. Mm -hmm. We've been bl oblivious. We've been blissfully ignorant for thousands of years about all the pieces of rock that have been shooting around this cosmic shooting gallery. Yeah. Now we have a space program. Now we realize, oh my God, there's a lot of stuff out there. I mean, the, the more we build these, uh, these giant telescopes, like the one they're trying to build in Mauna Kea, I mean, they've obviously got the Keck telescopes there, but they're trying to build an even bigger optical telescope. It tells us more about the origins of the universe, but it also lets us know that there's a good chance we're going to die. What is the probability of one of these asteroids hitting us at some point. Well, a city buster, uh, like the one that sailed over Russia and, and, and almost hit Chelyabinsk in, uh, in the Urals uh, in, in Russia, that was a city buster. It was about the size of an apartment building. And they occur on the rate of about maybe once every century or once every 200 years. Then we have the nation busters that'll knock out North America, it'll knock out Germany, it'll knock out the huge portions of the, of the planet Earth. These are very rare, and they would happen on a scale of perhaps hundreds of thousands to perhaps a million years. And then we have... Are we due for one of those? Well, then we have the planet busters. Oh, no! I knew the you were going to say Planet Busters. busters. <laughs> right. They're the ones that knocked out the dinosaurs. And about 90% of life forms were endangered by that object that hit Mexico mm -hmm. 65 million years ago. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is not on that scale. It's only a mile across. But the damage it could that do is... Yeah, that's right. In, in near the uh, Yucatan of Mexico, not that far from Cancun. Yeah. And that's where this object hit, creating a crater 180 miles in diameter. Mm. On, the, on the map of the Earth, you can actually, if you were to put a uh, magic marker, see the yep. crater cut, uh, cut out by this object. You need to come back and talk about science, 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 always and often. Will you please return? <laughs> okay. I will, I will bribe you with sweet treats and anything you desire in the form of baked goods. Uh -huh. Doctor. Okay. So thank you so much for it's being an offer here. I can't refuse. All right. Very good. So let it be written and done. Oh, no. I knew the you were going to say Planet Busters. Buster. <laughs>